Bom, eu jogava nos juniores do São Paulo. In 2000, I was playing on the Sao Paulo junior team, and we were in the middle of the junior championships when I got a yellow card. I was suspended for the following game, so I took advantage of the free weekend to visit my grandparents. My brother and I went to a water park, and as I came down the slide, I hit my head on the bottom of the pool. My neck snapped. I fractured the sixth vertebrae in my neck. I returned to Sao Paulo to train, but I couldn't bear the pain any longer. Everyone, including the doctors, told me I was very lucky, that I could have been paralyzed and lost my ability to walk and play football. But I don't believe it was luck. I believe God was protecting me. I began to play again in 2001, and after about two weeks, I was called up to play for the Sao Paulo professional team. I believe God had a purpose in that accident. And I don't think it was a coincidence. It was something that happened just before I had the blessing of starting my career as a professional football player. It was a great experience in my life. Kaká is a very special person. Since the 2001 World Cup qualifying matches, we've played together on the Brazil national team. We share a friendship. His character is beyond reproach. And for as long as I've known him, his walk with God is an example to all of us. That 2002 team was a great group. It was a very special moment in my life and in my family's life. But the match with England was a difficult match. England's first goal was my fault. When I left the field that day, someone from the Brazilian national team, who isn't a Christian, nor is he a close friend, said something I'll never forget. He said, God would never let that happen to me. Now, if we had lost one nothing, I think, no, I'm sure that people wouldn't have forgotten that I had failed and that the team had lost. That's not how it turned out. In life, we have to accept everything that happens. There is life, and there is death. There is winning, and there is losing. Against Serbia, I was in the starting lineup after sitting out our first two games, which we had lost. Since we'd already been eliminated from contention, there was nothing riding on this match, except getting our first World Cup win, which we really wanted. But our defenders made two mistakes, and we were losing 2 nothing. We were frustrated, and I was red carded. We fought back to win, so I think that God was with us every step of the way, even though this was the only World Cup match I got to play in, and my last international match. Losing is part of the game. We play two or three matches a week, and we win some, and we lose some. But defeat can teach us, and it can be a time of reflection. It's hard. I've had defeats that really marked my life, like losing in the 2006 World Cup against France. I've had many wins as well, but defeat has taught me a lot. My first ever goal for Spain was a special goal. It happened against Armenia, and I was really pleased. But of all the goals I've scored, the one that'll stay with me forever is the goal against Real Batiste. We really needed a win, and I managed to score the game-winning goal. It's perhaps the most difficult goal I've ever scored.
Someday, my children and grandchildren will see it. It won't be forgotten. Playing in the World Cup was the best memory of my career. It was during a critical time of suffering and war for our country. I've been able to thank God for being part of it, for being on the team. It was him that enabled me to go to the World Cup. I started playing football as a kid in a small town in southern Italy. We all played football on the streets, so it was the only thing I ever dreamed about as a child, making it big. When I was 13, I made a promise to God that if he gave me the opportunity to become a footballer, I would serve him. And I did it. God made this dream come true. Seeing the ball go into the net, it's a beautiful feeling, a wonderful sensation. After all, it's the main purpose of football. And so if you do it, you help your team win. It's fantastic. So in a game against Switzerland, I scored. And the first thing I thought was to point at the sky. I hadn't decided to follow Jesus yet. But as the son of believers, I had the thought that God doesn't have grandchildren, only children. So with that in mind, I thanked him with that gesture. Now, my first goal after I had begun to walk with Jesus happened at a time when I was facing many battles and discouragement. So when I scored that goal, well, it was an indescribable emotion, bigger than the goal I had scored on the national team. Much bigger, because it meant that God had answered me in a big way. And I wanted to tell the whole world that He is faithful. So, my first gesture was, again, to raise my hands to the sky. But this time, I also raised my heart. My best memory as a player was playing in the final of the French Cup, playing in the French stadium against Strasbourg. There were great celebrations in the city. You know, as a child, my only desire was to be a footballer. I dreamed of playing in the World Cup, but it hasn't happened. Still, being from Congo, football is a sport that's accessible to everyone, and that is what makes it great. Of course, people love us more for what we can do as players than for who we are. I think that whatever work you do, for example, as a cook or something else, the important thing is simply to reveal who you are. Ah, the World Cup. I remember being at home in 1994 when Brazil was champion. Even though it was far off, I imagined what it would be like to actually win the World Cup. In Brazil, everyone dreams of this. In 2002, I had the opportunity to be champion. It was a great moment. We had the chance to thank God for the whole world to see. Without a doubt, this was more important than the title itself. In 2002, I played for Brazil for the very first time. I was 20. It was a sensation that goes beyond words. The first time I heard the national anthem while standing there singing with the national team in the entire stadium, it brought great emotion to me. It was a huge blessing from God. In the 2002 World Cup, I played for just 25 minutes in a match against Costa Rica, but I felt like a world champion. When the whistle blew in the final match, I ran onto the field and the only thing I could do was to glorify and to thank God. I knew the whole world was watching that game. Millions and millions of people, all glued to the television. The great emotion of being world champion was almost too much. So Ed Mielsen and Lucio and I prayed together. For me, it was really special to be among that group and to have been world champion in 2002. My great dream for World Cup 2010 is to win one more title with the Brazilian national team.